Aloha, it's Kiana, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, huge mahalo to Long's Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long's Drugs for all your shopping needs. Former Honolulu Mayor Kurt Caldwell has pulled out of Hawaii's gubernatorial race. The self-described underdog was in a three-way contest with Lieutenant Governor Josh Green and former First Lady Vicki Cayetano in the upcoming Democratic Party primary election. Despite an ad thrust that detailed how he would handle the state's critical issues, Caldwell's campaign never gained traction. He said he was troubled by tough decisions that he made over eight years and two terms in office as mayor. Those include support for the city's rail project and policies dealing with Oahu's homeless. Caldwell was recently criticized for supporting his former managing director, Roy Amemia, former corporation counsel Donna Leong, and former Honolulu Police Commission Chair Max Sword. The three pleaded not guilty to federal charges related to the retirement settlement of disgraced Honolulu Police Chief Louis Kealoha. Green remains the front runner in the race for governor, but there is speculation that U.S. Representative Kai Kahele will announce a bid for the position soon. Hawaii's coronavirus case numbers are once again on the rise. The Hawaii Department of Health reported 10 new coronavirus-related deaths and 4,249 new infections over the previous week. Hawaii's COVID-19 death toll stands at 1,428, while health officials have recorded 252,654 cases since the start of the pandemic. The state's average positivity rate jumped to 11.5 percent, up from 9.1 percent last week. This is a seventh week in a row that the health department has recorded an increase in the positivity rate. By island, there were 2,855 new infections reported on Oahu, 565 on the Big Island, 468 on Maui, 233 on Kauai, 25 on Lanai, 9 on Molokai, and another 94 infections were reported outside the state. State health officials say the case counts are an underestimate of total infections, since many people are now using home test kits that are not officially tallied. The statistics reflect a steadily increasing case count that last week prompted the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to reclassify Hawaii from a green, low-risk to yellow, medium-risk community for COVID-19. A 32-year-old man has been arrested after allegedly striking a Fort Street Mall security guard with a metal water container Tuesday evening. Police said the attack occurred at about 525 when the man was instructed to get off the property. After being told to leave, the suspect hit the 57-year-old guard with a metal water bottle, rendering the victim unconscious. The guard sustained a head injury and was taken to a hospital in critical condition. Officers responding to the incident found the suspect nearby and arrested him on suspicion of second-degree attempted murder, three counts of criminal contempt of court, and two counts of probation revocation. The man was previously convicted for drug-related felonies, criminal trespassing, and theft. He was in police custody this morning. Interest in U.S. Representative Kai Kahele's congressional seat is growing after it was reported that he is planning to run for governor instead of seeking re-election. Kahele serves Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District, which includes the neighbor islands and rural Oahu. The first-term congressman has not confirmed the reports, but several local politicians have filed to run for Kahele's seat in the August 13 Democratic primary. They include Council Chair Tommy Waters, State Representative Patrick Branco, and former State Senator Jill Tokuda. Tokuda was previously in the running for Lieutenant Governor, but bowed out of the race in late April. Kahele has attracted national media attention for his record of proxy voting and questions of absenteeism from Washington, D.C. He has repeatedly declined to respond to questions about a potential run for governor. In February, Kahele told the star advertiser Spotlight Hawaii that he is giving serious thought to the possibility. Governor David Ige is making it a priority to return Japanese visitors to Hawaii. The governor plans to ask Japanese officials to treat Hawaii differently than the mainland when it comes to COVID-19 restrictions. On today's star advertiser Spotlight Hawaii, Ige said Japanese visitors will still see many people wearing masks in the islands despite an easing of restrictions. 
Because of Hawaii's cautious approach to the coronavirus, Japanese officials might consider treating their citizens differently when they return home from a visit. That could help boost travel to the state over mainland alternatives. Ige considers Japan the most important international source of travel to Hawaii. COVID-19 gutted that market, but the state's tourism industry is looking to return visitor numbers to full strength by next year. Ige plans to discuss his ideas with travel partners, cabinet members, and possibly Prime Minister Fumio Kishida during an upcoming six-day trip to Japan. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.